Hi all, Jo here. Today I'm going to talk to you about the top 10 things I wish I had known um, about having gastric sleeve surgery, or I guess you could insert any kind of bariatric surgery. But first, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'd love you to subscribe below. That would be awesome. And if you're on Instagram or Facebook, you can check us out there on Jo Harlow Journey to Healthy. That's me. And I've started my website this week, joharlow.com. How exciting. So I'm um, going to put resources on there to help people. That's my new goal. If I can do this, anyone can. So my top 10. Now, I'll read them all out first, and I've written them down so that I remember. And then I'll talk about each of them. So the first one is how easy it was. Second of all, how much work I would have to do myself. I wish I had known that weight loss is not about weight loss. <gasps> That's the biggest one. We'll talk about that. About frothies and dumping. Ooh, I wish I had known um, that how much money I would save on food. I wish I had known that really it is about portion control and moving your body. I wish I had known um, that how much we use food as a punitive measure we don't even realize um, how judgy some people can be but on the flip side how absolutely awesome and supportive other people can be you will get both if you have bariatric surgery and it will come from places that you would never imagine so be prepared um, I wish I had known about the loose skin and bariatric hair loss both are normal and the third thing I wish I had known how good this process is so I would have done it years earlier so they're my top 10 now the first one how easy it was how easy it was the whole process of having the surgery but how easy it was sorry I don't know what, like whether I'm looking up here or down here um how easy it was to lose weight like I've lost nearly 40 kilos in six and a half months and it hasn't been hard it hasn't been easy but it hasn't been hard and I don't know if there's something in me because I've tried other diets. Like, oh, I've tried lots of other diets. So I don't know what it is about this particular one. Maybe it's because I had to fork out 15 grand of my superannuation to pay for it. Maybe it's because I was at the right time in my life. Maybe it's because I have no willpower. Like, God knows. Who knows? But for whatever reason, this having the surgery has made weight loss very easy for me. So I hope if you've had surgery, then you find the same thing. Ah, uh, the second one, how much work I would have to do. Well, it's been easy, but I've had to make food choices. I've had to choose nutrition over bad, over my habits from the past, over foods that I've enjoyed in the past. I've had to make the effort after I, after six months to start to exercise. I've had to make do all the mental work. Oh my God, the amount of mental work. So I've had to do this. So it's been easy but how much work I had to do. The third one um, point brings me to that is that weight loss isn't about weight loss. It really isn't. If you don't get your head right, your weight loss journey and any journey really is just going to be a roller coaster back and forth, back and forth. Weight loss is about sorting out all the issues in your head that you don't even know about. It's about being inspired. It's about being motivated. And it's about being uh, finding mentors, people that you um, can look up to, that you can um, learn from, I guess is the word. It's Weight loss is just all about personal development and about getting this sorted. If you don't get this sorted, you stuffed yourself. So I wish I had known how much of this was involved in weight loss maybe I wouldn't have needed surgery if I knew that before so there you go um number four frothies and dumping frothies are when you've either eaten too fast or um too much you get an excessive saliva in your mouth oh it's just disgusting you don't you, you feel a little bit off like you don't feel no, like too nauseous but you just your mouth just fills up with this saliva and it's basically your body's way of, you know, it releases digestive enzymes to try and process all the whatever you've just eaten. So I wish I'd known about frothies, did not know about them. And dumping, Ooh, that's where you eat something and it pretty much goes right through you. You'll eat something. The first time I had this, um, 
I was having eggs benedict with mum. I love my eggs benedict. And when I'm saying that, like I have like that much bread, that much bacon, that much egg, and about that much of the sauce, next to nothing. I think it was like week three after my surgery. And I ate it and it was beautiful. And then all of a sudden I just like got the like chills, the, um, what do you call them? Not pizza needles, the, the pff, goosebumps. Got goosebumps, felt funny in my tummy. Like everything was swimming, had to race to the toilet. And I knew we had to go home straight away. It was not good. I felt warm and clammy and it was just horrible. Um, and I've had a cup that a couple of times. And the other thing, um, so your froth is your dumping. But the other thing is too that when I eat too fast, just the feeling in your stomach and the, the sounds that come from your gut, like it sounds like plumbing works. It's like, so I wish I'd known about that. Wouldn't have changed anything, but wish I'd known about that. Um, then number five is, um, how much I'd save on food. Oh my God. So after this surgery, because you're going to eat a little bit and because you're wanting to change habits, your food budget just goes because you find that when you're eating less, there's less waste in the house and you're also going to take away less and just eating out, eating a lot less. So if I go out to lunch with friends, then, well, pre COVID that is, um, where normally I'd spend twenty twenty five dollars on a meal, I'm now spending five or six dollars because I'm just getting little add ons. Um, so it saves you fortune, and we can't drink and eat at the same time. So you're not having to buy; you're either buying a meal or you're buying a drink. So yeah, saves you money. Uh, number six, that it really is about portion size and moving your body. Who knew? Apparently, my doctor did. Um, at the end of the day, we're just reducing calories. You're reducing your portion size. I try and have um, four meals a day to keep my metabolism going. And each meal, I'm having about six to eight mouthfuls of food, like teaspoonfuls. So it's portion control and moving. Um, but that's just saying. Um, number seven, I'd wish I'd known, um, and I guess this isn't too to do with bariatric surgery, but that once you've had bariatric surgery, you're no longer bound and entwined in the punitive eating. You know, oh, I'm not going to eat this and I'm not going to eat that and I'm only going to eat this type of food. It, you can eat whatever you want once you've had bariatric surgery. The thing is you choose not to because you want to live healthy life. So you choose nutrient-dense foods, high protein, and you still have your snacks. You still have your things that you enjoy. You just don't have them every blimmin' day. You make smarter choices for yourself so no more punitive foods there is no bad food you just have very tiny amounts further spread out so you can still enjoy stuff number eight how judgy some people are oh you lost weight because you're bariatric surgery um that's not how they talk but it, it's just the little backhanded comments and you're like oh really like what has it got to do with you so yeah just be prepared that there will be judgy comments and not from people you expect. Like, you kind of like, oh, okay, did not that expect that from you. What issues have you got on? People project. Um, but then the support that you will get. Oh, my God. People are amazing. Like, you're going to be surrounded by so much love. People that you never imagined will become your cheerleaders. They'll become your support crew. And your support crew is so crucial. You need a support crew. Um, I um, listened to Dr. Vuong, who said, basically, if you're having gastric sleeve or, you know, bypass surgery, just put it out there. Tell people that you're having that done so they can support you because you're going to lose weight and they're going to notice anyway. So don't stop hiding. See, all part of this, stop hiding. Um, number nine, I wish I had known about the loose skin and hair loss. Um, I did know about the hair loss. I had heard about bariatric hair loss. Thing is, I didn't think I would get it. <laughs> but I did. And it's normal. It's all part of a normal process. Um, so you know what? It disappears. It's, you know, no biggie. The other one is loose skin. Um, I've always had big arms. Now my, I've got such loose skin there. So I'm going to need um, skin removal surgery next year and a booby lift, um, which I've needed for a long time. Um, and I've seen, you know, maybe I'll need a tummy tuck too. Who knows? Um, but there's all sorts of surgeries out there these days that if you've put yourself in a position where your skin stretched that much, that once when you lose weight, it's all loose. Just, you know what? Far better to be slimmer and healthier and have a bit of loose skin. 
don't let it bother you just be prepared for it though because you will get loose skin you doesn't matter what you do if you're you know over 30 you're going to get loose skin like seriously and number 10 is um what i wish i'd known is how good this whole process is and i wish i had done it like honestly 20 years ago i would be living a different life now there's um yeah not much more you can say to that i wish i had known that um how just how good this whole process is how much better how i would change my life for the better and i would have done it earlier so they're my top 10 things i wish i'd known prior to gastric sleeve surgery and I'm sure I will learn lots more because this is just a journey and it's all about working this out because the number one tip is weight loss is not about weight loss. It's about what's up here. Have an awesome day. I hope these have helped some people. And um, subscribe below and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. All right. Whatever you choose to do, do it for you. Be kind to you. You're worth it. Mwah.